So, hi guys, this is on the new camera. I'm going to keep mentioning that until I get bored of it. This is the Marvel Select Disney Store Star Lord Special Collector's Edition Action Figure from Gardens of the Galaxy. As you can see from the artwork there, these guys are more like the, I guess, the animated series that they did than the movies. Kind of like the fact that they made his gun on there, the, more like the toys. Um, so for a start, this one has two guns, which is great. A Peter Quill head, which is great. This is what all the other ones so far have been missing. Um, yeah, let's pop them out of the box and we'll have a look. So, you get a very fancy base, looks like that. And da -da 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 -da. We'll put that over there, nice and safe. So there he is, there's a stand, a hand with a holding hand so that he can hold what isn't the Cosmic Cube. Um, yeah, let's have a look close up of the old noggin there, that's not too bad, there's the sphere thing, and guns, anyway, let me pop him out of the box. This is another one of Geordie's purchases. Thank you, Mr. Jordan, for supplying me. Oh, knocked his hand off already. Thanks to a review. Hang on. Let me do this over here because you've got to wiggle the feet a bit to get them out. That's better. I'll stick the hand back on. So I'll show you it well. It's off. There, yeah. focus, focus, there's the pegs, and it's like back in like that. There he is, he has his pouch on the back there, which is nice. Right on this side. There we go. Yeah, so he has the flame effect coming out of his boots like he's flying which obviously in the film it's little things on the side there but with this one it's jet boots don't quite know how that would work but if Iron Man can do it I'm sure Peter Quill can Star Lord um, yeah the pouch right the coat is rubberized I don't know if you saw the other day I did uh, a Superman figure who had a solid cape this one is more rubber which is nice there's little pegs there so that you can stick the guns on uh, legs out that way and forward usual that's nice that his shoulder pad there does go under the coat uh, let's take these out and see how well he stands up oh pretty good he's a good stander um, like I say he's got the fancy base which is time like that on it. Uh, let me just where did I put the box? Uh, oh there it is. Right the other head it does have a little peg that you can sit it on so that when you stand it on your shelf um, it's not going to roll around which is nice because I've got a few spare heads for things that I like to put them at the side but obviously they don't sit right because they're not supposed to sit correct. So, here we have the other head, which is more the comic book version. Not bad paint apps on there. And the blaster, which is pretty good. A closer look at this, here we go. It's quite a dark metallic grey. Still, quite a good lightness. Visual paint apps on there, the jacket, etc. Backpack. Yeah, I think all in all, it's a pretty cool figure. And like I say, the guns do fit. You get two guns with it on there like that, which is quite nice. And he will hold the guns 
as well. I'll take the other gun out of the packet because I'll have to put it back in again. <laughs> but there you go. So yeah, he is quite a nice posable you can do posable figure. Like that. There we go. pretty impressed with this. The only thing that I've noticed is the hair colour is slightly different. Without the helmet it's kind of a blonde, with that it's more of a platinum. But c'est la vie. As long as you don't put the two heads together nobody will notice. <laughs> so yeah that's just a quick review of this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have you know what to do. Hit that little button that's going to appear around here somewhere. Uh, yep. Yeah. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And I will see you all really soon. Bye now.